Hey everyone, I'm Scott Stokely and I got a hot take for you all. I'm going to make the case that the number one threat to America, it's not China, it's not Russia, it's Finland. Now, before you click off, obviously when it comes to militaristic and economic, yeah, those first two are pretty big players, but I'm talking about something far more important than world peace. I'm talking about disc golf. If you are a fan of American disc golf, what Nicholas did this weekend in Austin should scare the hell out of you because the Finns are coming and there's not a damn thing we can do to stop them. Now, if you've been around disc golf for more than a minute, you've probably heard that disc golf's a pretty big deal over in Finland. They got a bunch of courses. Maybe you heard about this, uh, this island that had a bunch of courses on it. But if you haven't gone down the rabbit hole, I would like to fill you in on some stats and maybe a couple anecdotes to let you know just what a big deal disc golf is in Finland. Because look, Finland's the number one place in the world to play disc golf. And uh, I'm, look, USA, USA, don't get me wrong. I'm just being honest. What's happening to disc golf in Finland is unprecedented anywhere else in the world. Now, your first thought might be, well, hold on a second. All the best players, or not all, but most of the best players come from America. The biggest tournaments are in America. The Disc Golf Pro Tour started in America. Yeah, that's true. There's 60 times as many people in America as Finland. Finland's basically a small U.S. state as far as population. And what they're doing relative to their size is unmatched. So here's a couple stats to start with. Uh, there are 1,068 courses in Finland, but they have a population of 5.5 million. Now, to put that in perspective, imagine getting off the plane in Phoenix and being told you have a 1,000 disc golf courses to choose from. In Phoenix. Okay, that is basically the ratio of disc golf courses per capita. And by the way, it's not like they've stopped. Courses are going in every single day over there. Uh, there's an island chain you may have heard of uh, called Åland Islands. Uh, it is a beautiful archipelago between Finland and Sweden, and they have 17 disc golf courses with a population of 29,000. Now, that's a pretty high ratio, but I think more important than that is that Åland Islands decided, hey, you know what would be good for our economic future? Let's make our islands a disc golf destination. Like... The tourism industry, and one of the things they're focusing on is bringing in disc golf tourism. Like, that's a big deal. Like, I can't think of anywhere else where something like that has happened, certainly not on that scale. There's a lot of kids that play disc golf in Finland. So there was a poll, and I may get the numbers wrong, so feel free to correct me in the comments, but, it, but it's close. Uh, the poll last year, they asked kids in Finland, what is your number one after school activity? And I believe 40% of them said disc golf. Not how many kids play disc golf in Finland or how many kids play disc golf after school. 40% listed disc golf as their number one activity. So when we were at the European Open, uh, there were thousands of kids in Nokia. Now, these these weren't kids that, that were there because they got a, a free coupon with their hot fudge sundae at McDonald's to come to a, a Frisbee tournament. They were out there wearing their disc golf gear with their golf discs getting signed. Uh, they were standing perfectly motionless and dead silent when the players were throwing. They knew the etiquette. These were disc golfers. And by the way, Nokia is not that big of a city. These kids came from all over Finland. Like this is that once in a year time, mom, dad, you got to take me to Nokia for the European Open. Like, thousands of them. And, and you know what? You, you watch them throw, they're all really good. And you know why they're really good? Schools in Finland, every single school in Finland has a disc golf course. It's no different than every school in America having a basketball court. It's just, of course, you have a school. There's a disc golf course. Duh, obvious. Like, what do you do during PE? Well, during this month, it's disc golf. Oh, what do you do on Thursdays? Oh, it's putting day. It's just simply part of the culture. Everybody over there <laughs> disc golfs. It's just like their national sport. 
Uh, you know, one of the funniest stories I have, and this is, it might seem like this is a little bit off topic, but this is maybe the most telling thing about what the culture's like over in Finland. We walked into the Finnish version of Best Buy last year. It's in Helsinki. Um, but it's Best Buy, a giant electronics store, entire wall covered with televisions. Now at these stores, they have very highly paid, well-educated executives that make decisions about what we put on the TVs because it matters. Because you will sell more TVs if the highest percentage of people walk in, see the TVs and think, ooh, that thing that I like to watch looks better than on my TV. And you know what they have playing on all their TVs? Disc golf. Like I thought I was in the Twilight Zone. I've got pictures of this. We walked in to like, basically imagine walking into Best Buy and you just see a hundred Paul Macbeths. Like that, and it was Paul Macbeth throwing. They use Paul Macbeth to sell televisions over there. So that's what the culture is over in Finland. So Nikolas wins the tournament. The number one trending thing at, at, at Google in Finland is, is Nikolas. Every single media outlet, that's their go-to number one lead story. Nikolas wins a pro tour event. I mean, could you imagine last week in Waco if, when Gannon Burr had won? If that was the lead story with the New York Times and the Washington Post and, and Wall Street Journal, it is in Finland. It is their national sport and it's a level of acceptance that we can't even wrap our heads around. Now, you might think there's one big barrier to disc golf in Finland and that is the weather, right? They have such a short season, like that's gonna be, you know, that might hold these, these darn Finns back. No, it's actually a blessing in disguise. Because in America, when the weather's bad, we go out and play, we put on some extra layers, probably not as good a practice as we might want because we don't do it as often because it's cold and you know, you know, we have four layers on, you don't really get your timing right. You're still playing, but it's winter in a lot of places. Well, in, the, in these Nordic countries like Finland, they have these state-of-the-art training facilities. So when you get to the time of the year when it's dark and cold, oh great, you have five months to work on drills. They have personal trainers, they have dietitians, they have training facilities, like they have coaches. They have, they have tr coaches who have been trained to coach disc golf. Professionals. Like they're doing the stuff in the off season that uh, any professional athlete should do in their off season that we might not have to do because we have better weather and it's more fun to play disc golf than being in gym. So yeah, so what they're doing is just astonishing. So uh, look, I'm a huge fan of, of Finnish disc golf. You know, USA, USA, don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm on team USA here, but um, yeah, the Finns are coming and <laughs> I'm sorry, it's gonna be like a tidal wave. Uh, uh, here's the last piece of, uh, of news or the hot take. Finland ain't coming alone. They're bringing Estonia with them and Latvia and Lithuania and Sweden and Norway and Germany and Austria and Poland, eventually Serbia, Croatia, the UK. Look, disc golf over there is, is it's blown up. Finland's at the top, everyone from UC at Discmania to Seppo and countless other people with the uh, uh, the Finland Frisbee Association all played a part in building this culture that Nikolas and Evelina came from and you know, the next thousand Nikolases and Evelinas that are coming. Uh, everyone over in Finland should be proud because you all should be sharing in this and uh, you know, hats off to you and uh, it's gonna be exciting to watch because What's happening over there is unprecedented and uh, it's gonna be exciting to see how it all plays out. But as an American disc golfer, I'm a bit scared to be honest. <laughs> all right, see you guys.